Hey everybody, it's Andy, and today is September 18th, it's a Sunday, and that marks day 60 of my 60 day juice fast. So, no, that's not my camera that's acting all crazy right now, it's because I'm actually invested in a brand new what up, trampoline. Um, I don't know if anyone can see it here, it's in my garage, and you know you guys aren't going to be able to see it. Let's see here. I get you guys. This, I'm sorry about the poor viewing here, but well, anyways, there's a trampoline here. That's how it's hopping around. It's what's hearing you hearing that squeaking. So, um, I mean, like I said, I'm in my garage. Um, it's kind of where I uh, I do a little bit of exercising. Um, here's my. Uh, I don't know if you can see this, but there's my weight set. Um, I wanted to show this because I wanted to give it to a shout out to uh, one of my buddies on YouTube. Here's my old board, and as you can see here, it's cracked. Because I tried riding this thing maybe about, I don't know, four months ago, and um, I cracked. Um, I don't know if it cracked because of the how much I weighed, but um, nonetheless it cracked, or maybe it cracked through the old age. I've had that thing forever. But um, I did invest in a new board. So, um, nothing great. Uh, here it is. It's, um, hopefully this one doesn't crack. I've been on it a couple times. And, um, yeah, it seems like it's, it's cool. So, um, enough of the shaky cam stuff. Let's walk into my, uh, kitchen because, uh, Due to, uh, I don't want to say popular demand, but demand nonetheless, um, people want to see me, what I do, um, when I juice. And um, so, we're here in my kitchen. I've got all my product ready. Um, everything's been washed thoroughly. And um, I'm going to turn this over to my, uh, to, uh, I don't know, let me go this way. Here is my juicer. It's a Breville. Um, so as if people have heard me say it before, and as you can see here, it's got this crazy little dial. And um, I don't know if you guys can see this on camera, but it seems like there's like dried water um, where it's giving this thing like a smoky look. I don't know if you can see it in the light. But um, I wish I could get rid of that. I was thinking about putting CLR on there. And it's happening on the nozzle here also and the, the base of where the blade's at. So anything plastic, um, I could see water the water stains on it, which I really don't like. So, what I'm going to show you here next is my base of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis um, for breakfast and lunch, and most of the time dinner. Um, but my bases are always apples, which I have here. I have three beautiful apples. I have a lime. This usually goes on at the end, um, just to give the offset some of the, the greens taste. Cucumbers one cucumber uh, for this particular juice, three carrots. I have a bunch of celery here, um, dandelion greens, and plenty of kale, and of course, spinach. Um, I just bought this stuff, I think it was yesterday, um, and it was so cheap, it was uh, five for five dollars, so I bought like um, 10 of them, so I, I juice that much. So um, let me put this down for a sec here. I'm going to move this and I'm going to show you what I do for a breakfast. So what you're going to see here is a lot of the same things here. I have a, I have a cucumber, some carrots, cu uh, celery, and of course some apples to offset the taste of them. Um, you know what, even without the apple, I've had plenty of times where I've run out the apples and I've just drinking just the celery, the carrots, and the cucumber, and it's, it's a great juice. Um, what I'll also be adding in is this uh, this uh, yellow watermelon. Pretty good looking, right? It is getting a little mealy. I've, it's been in my fridge. I, I bought like, me and my sister went to the to Myers and we bought like four of these things. And um, um, this is the last of it. So um, I want to juice it and, um, and um, it tastes wonderful. So I'm sure it's going to, I've never juiced a, a yellow watermelon, but I don't, I don't know how it's that different from a, a normal watermelon. 
So I look forward to drinking that tomorrow morning. And um, of course the lime. I just like the way the, the lime makes the juices taste. And um, so they'll go in two of these um, mason jars. Um, usually fills these things up all the way, but sometimes you get a doesn't fill it up all the way and it gets right to the um, right to the measurement. So and these measurements are this is about six cups and I'll do that for a breakfast and I'll do that for lunch and also for dinner. So those are the three sizes that I that I drink. Um, I used to use a I don't know if I could find it right now, but I used to have like a water a water bottle and um and um I decided I wanted to drink more juice so I started to stop using that um because I, I don't feel like I was getting enough juice in that thing. So the mason jars do the thing and and um just look at me when I'm talking to you guys it's a little weird. I, I dislike this camera because it's hard to do anything. So I'm gonna start that um I'm gonna just cut up the watermelon a little, and once I'm done that, I'll go ahead and start taping the. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I gotta try. Um, videotaping me doing the, the um, the actual juicing, which I guess people want to see. So I'm gonna show it to you guys. So uh, here we go. I'm gonna sign off for right now, and uh, you'll see me in the next frame. Bye bye.